Good morning, everyone. I've got the crew, we've got the total crew here doing breakfast here at the Novotel. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, we're just having brekkie. We had a great night's sleep. I've uh, been really blessed. Some of us. <laughs> and yeah, looking forward to the day, whatever God has for us. Yeah, it's going to be good. Danish. We've got danishes and waffles and uh, egg, cappuccino. It's looking good right now, <laughs> we have to say. It's looking good, but um, it's the first day and we're recovering from traveling. And after today, we don't know what we're gonna get. So. It's all uphill from here. It's all uphill. <laughs> Jesus is gonna, he's gonna do some miracles. <laughs> anyway, but we're, we're just kind of hanging out before we have to do the traveling this morning. Uh, they're all coming on the bus. We're getting on the bus to go out onto the tarmac. We're going to go to one of these planes. Here we are, propellers. This is our flight jet airways. On to the tarmac team. Alright, so we've got this great new, new truck. The bus that we're all in. It's, it's not too bad, it's air conditioning. This is Ernest here, Sally, of course. Hey and we've got Wendy this side. Hello. Um, Leo's talking to Ernest right now, and we've got the drivers. The boys are in the back. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Tina wants to say hello. And we're on our way. It's about an hour and a half of driving. So we've gone to Miriam Guest House. Hey, Wendy. Guys. I mean, Sally. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> How's the place? How? Well, I'm finding it's it very nice, actually. So it's, uh, we've been it's really good. Actually. We've got air conditioning, which is Amazing. unbelievable. It's 29 degrees here. Yeah, and we've got beautiful rooms, and the pasta is just gorgeous. Yes. And the beautiful ladies that Ernest. served us. Amazing. Um, we beautiful. had a great first meal. Mm. And we blessed it to our bodies, so we're all set. And it wasn't uh, that spicy. Come it on. wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't that spicy. It was beautiful chicken curry, yeah. really very, yeah, very, very nice. mild, mm. mild, but it was very tasty. And uh, we've got these these rooms. Uh, I'm going to see if I can show you the 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 um the locks are exactly as they were in the other hotel that we were at um, in Combator, which is the uh, the flat. Okay, the flap, and you obviously put it in, you know, with a padlock, which I don't have one. I don't think it's really necessary. The bathrooms, uh, it's very simple. Of course, you can wash in a bucket, but they do have a shower here. And importantly, they put the heater on for us, so praise the Lord. Hot showers in the morning. But the locks, the locks are all the same here. They've got the... Uh, the latch. Amazing. So this is where we're staying. This is Pastor Ernest. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> this is, uh, they call it Mar uh, Miriam House. It says Zion up there. So, so you've already seen the inside of it, but so, look, amazing place. The people are very humble, amazing people. <laughs> and um, I love the fruit on the trees here. Let's see some of the locals. I'll take some more footage from outside. So they're making a box. We've come for a tour of the villages. Hello. See what they what they're making. Don't make sure you don't stick on it. Amazing. <laughs> so Sally's getting local. <laughs> so Wandanalu is how you say thank you in Telugu. So it's been really nice. It's been a real good honor to come and see 
how they make this uh, pottery. You know? It's amazing. All these lovely ladies took photos with us. It's really nice. Yeah, good times. Let's go on. Alright, well this is where they make saris and... Uh, this is the saris. These are the saris here. Wow, look at that. Amazing. This is all the... Uh, so these are the thread. Threads. They use the thread. Mm -hmm. With this thread, they make the saris. Wow. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah. We're going to go next. Oh. So, different oh. colors they select. They put dye on this. So, cool. uh, so this is the saris. Yeah. Wow. So, this is one of the professions that they do nice. here. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. The people. Oh, good. So, how do they get them that? From uh, saris, like this. Okay. How long does it take to make one? Hmm? How long does so it take? So this is self. Yeah, time this is self. Okchera, Okchera. Ah, they make one for one day. Come and go. Wow. Six times. Yeah, So at the, at the time they make six sari. Wow. And it takes one day. Six times like one one day makes six sari. That's amazing. Mom. I don't have a Yeah, I like the Yeah, I like the same. Yeah, I like the Yeah, I like the They make this red from the So these are the coconut plantation here. And uh, we're gonna go and check out some of the coconuts. Mate. There's coconuts there. See, that's how they they're, they're taking the outer the outer husk off. See, this is what we were seeing. The part of the outer husk. Coconuts here. Yeah, this what we saw on TV. I think. Yeah. That's amazing. So they're taking the husks off. They must use the shells or some stuff. Material here, they must use. I think they use everything. Yeah. We're asking. Ernest, do they use everything? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Over there, they're doing another job. So they use it for different workers. Yeah. So this uh, coconut, we can have um, coconut water. Yeah. That is one purpose. Other side is that remove the shell. The white. Layer. The white layer, yeah. And um, they t transport these uh, inside one coconuts to other other states. And the next thing is that um, they use this uh, outer Husk. layer yep. So yep. to make beds and uh, you know, um, oh, yeah. Material, yeah. 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 With like sofas and good materials oh. and uh, ropes. They make ropes, ah, big, heavy ropes, and also coconut. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard work. And uh, mm. these uh, other things, they use it to burn, you know. The, to make the bricks and other things. So you use this to make strong, good bricks. So the stuff, the stuff of the, the pile that's over there, the outside, they use that for something? Yeah, they use it for uh, making, uh, I mean, they use it to make the sofas, you know, the, the, the seating arrangements. I mean, chairs, good cushion chairs. And also mattresses. The, the, I mean, in India, they make mattresses with this. In the between that, there is a kind of strong one, you know, on the top yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one. Oh, and also, they use it to burn, I mean, to use it as a firewood. Yeah. It looks like hard work. It's a hard work. How long do they work for this one? It's about eight hours. <coughs> and I would get how much do you reckon? Is this the rent goes to? Literally. 
500 rupees per day. 500 rupees per day. Wow, guys, the conversion rate. Uh, it's about ten dollars, ten dollars a day to do this job. Amount of coconuts they remove the shell. So depending on that, they get paid. So yeah, maybe if they remove thousand, I think they pay. They will be get about uh, five hundred rupees. Wow. wow. But it's a lot of work. Yeah. See these guys trying to take footage. Oh my gosh. Yes. The people, the farmers, they will leave. Okay. Let's go. So Ernest is taking us around to see um, the villages, what people do, the farmers, farm life. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, people that are like uh, supporting themselves. And so our last stop, I think it might be our last stop, um, we've come out to see the farmers, people that are farming the land. This is rice and um, these people, they work really hard. That's what I have to say, you know, the like the last lot of people we went to see, they're working <laughs> hard all day, $10 all day. Here's Ernest's son, Elijah. Hi. <laughs> And Shiloh, hi. say hi to Australia. Bye. <laughs> anyway, let's see what they're doing out here on the, in the rice paddies. The women working really hard in the fields. They're working very hard. They're working very hard, aren't they? That's the rice. Yeah. The grains they've got. For the grains. Is that the grain? They're going to show us the grain now. That's the rice we eat. That's the rice we eat, people. That's how they make rice. This is rice. How do they make rice out of that? Yeah, they can to peel it up. You open the little sea. Take the rice off. It's almost 30 to 40 rice. In one, in one tree, one, one plant. One little plant. 30 to 40 yeah. And they're cutting it off. So you need to... How do you open it? So that's right. That's it. And then you cook it. Wow. Yeah. Did you open that up? And this up? goes to the machine. Uh, wow. And they remove uh, the, the outer the half shell. Wow. Mm. I mean... Uh, mm. Then it comes to us. They polish it again. Then, then we, we cook, cook it. it yeah. Polish it? Mm. Mm. Uh, these women are amazing. They're wow. working hard all day in the fields. If they're sickles. So what rice them? Rice. The kids are enjoying the, having the... Yeah, this the is their water. Yeah. yeah. So they love it. Come and have a glass of water here. Yeah. Right now we pray for every single person that walks into this revival meeting, Father. Pray that they have an encounter, their personal encounter with you, Lord Jesus. And it's something that's going to absolutely flip their lives around and change their lives for good, Father. So they, they can change other people's lies for you father so right now we just pray that it's a
This is Wendy. She's a true blue Australian. Oh, Wendy, go to Australia, the Lord Karu. This is Ethan, my third son. Like a Mudo Kumaru Ethanu. We have four boys and a little girl. And my princess came right at the end of the four boys. You kept trying for the little girl. My little girl, I'm just going to the He revealed to us the mystery that was hidden in God. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1, for this reason, I call the prisoner of Christ Jesus for you Gentiles. If indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which was given to me for you. How that by revelation he made known to me the mystery as I have briefly written already. By which, when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. What is mystery? It's, it's the secret hidden in the heart of God. God had a plan. He wanted man to come back to himself. I believe God is in this place. Hallelujah. If you're a believer, the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And God is here. He's here to set captives free. If you are sick in your body, Jesus Christ has already healed you. He came to heal the broken hearted. He came to set captives free. The word gospel means good news. Why is this gospel such good news? We should never take for granted the gospel meaning good news. The reason why it's good news Good news is only good news because there's bad news. There cannot be good news if there isn't bad news. In the beginning, mankind was separated from God. It's very important to understand God's purpose for humanity. Genesis chapter 1 says God made us in His image and in His likeness. Just imagine the reality that God made mankind in His image and in His likeness and His nature. You see, if you don't know what you had, you don't know what you lost. Children, if you don't know what you lost, 
God formed Adam from the ground, from the dust of the earth. He formed a beautiful human being. The Bible says God stood down and breathed into Adam's nostrils the breath of life. And Adam became a living being. Stotra. Where did Adam get his spirit from? From the very spirit of God. Adam's walking with God. In the nature of God. What does that mean? God is love. There is no selfishness in God at all. God is joy. There is no depression in God. God is peace. No anxiety, no stress or worry in God. So God made Adam in his image and in his likeness. The book of Psalms says God clothed Adam with his glory. The scripture says he crowned man. The word crowned means clothed. We must understand what Adam lost. To understand what Christ regained for us. I believe Adam was glowing with the very glory and presence of Almighty God. Because he's made in his image, in his likeness. 